how are you? Welcome to my channel. My name is Ruth and today I'm doing the update to the Panners Pan. This is my absolute and utter favourite project to do and it's my favourite one to watch because it's all about cheering on other project panners and um, finding new ones to follow as well because this community, as I've said multiple times, is just beautiful and I love it. I've been doing project panning now on YouTube for over a year and it's just been the best experience ever. So if you're out there and you're going, oh, will I or won't I? Do it, do it. Because the community is gorgeous and supportive and lovely. And I'm just so incredibly grateful to be a part of it. Uh, this was created by Elizabeth, who is at Cookie Pans on Instagram. And unfortunately, it's a person I don't know that well uh, at all, really. Um, I don't see that she posts so much anymore, but I love that she came up with this concept. I just think, well, she must be an absolutely gorgeous person to come up with such a beautiful project. So, I have quite a few rollouts this month. I'm quite surprised myself, considering it wasn't the best of months. But having said that, there were a few that were close last month. Um... But yeah, so we've a, we've a few rolling out. I'm just going to dab my eyes here because, you know, it is beautiful out today. Beautiful. It is about 18, 17, 18 degrees kind of, uh, which I think is about 65, 66 degrees in other countries' heat scale. I don't know. Um, beautiful breeze. Loads of clothes out on the line. Great day for drying. You know you're getting old when you go, God, it's a great day for drying. Um, but yeah, but of course with that, unfortunately, comes pollen. My dear, dear friend pollen. And look, I can't be cross at pollen because we need pollen for the bees and for the butterflies. So, you know. I've even got better at not cutting my lawn until uh, other flowers are up so that the dandelions and stuff come up and that the bees can have those to uh, feed on until other kind of stuff comes up in my garden and that. So I'm not kind of going to get rid of the weeds. Weeds are just flowers in the wrong place. Anywho, <laughs> come on Ruth. So first up and first to roll out is Haley, the gorgeous, divine, just amazingly funny and wonderful Haley. I adore her. Um, this is the cream blush um, that I put in for her in, in um, what's the word I'm trying to look for, not in lieu of, um, in appreciation of her panning of the BAM um, cream blush palette. What was it? How about them apples? Something like that. I don't know, but she did the whole thing and it was incredible and I was so invested in it. So this was the blush that I had in for her and I loved it. Uh, it's quite a stiff blush, stop it, and um, it has a lovely pigmentation to it. I use a nice kind of dense brush for it and I thoroughly enjoy it. It is from Inglot and it is in collaboration with an uh, Irish kind of um, celebrity, um, Maura Higgins, and uh, it's actually really, really beautiful. I feel that... We used to have a lot of Inglot standalone stores in Ireland. They're gone. Completely gone. Um, what I'm finding more and more is these collections. They're doing another one with another Irish influencer called Rosie Connolly, I think. And that seems to be it now. It seems to be a stand in, you know, like Boots or a Chemist or something like that uh, with these collaboration products on it. And that's it. They seem to have gone from their, what was it called, Freeform or something with all the single shadows. They were too expensive anyway. And I don't think anyone was really buying them anymore. Um... But yeah, uh, I thoroughly enjoyed this and I would look into more if I can get them on offer. English for me is a hard one because I am very aware that they are a fraction of the cost in Poland where they're from. The markup in Ireland for English products is ridiculous. Like this is nearly 20 euros. And I have no doubt something similar would be maybe under 10 euros or whatever. It was a slot, slot in Poland, um, but the equivalent of under 10 euro in Poland. So I find it very hard to part my money with them. That's just me. And look, I'm sure it's the same for nearly every brand. Although like Catrice and, and Essence, they're German brands, I think their prices more or less are the same. You know, uh, Kiko, I think their prices are more or less the same. So I don't know. It 
vexes me. But she's rolling out. I had a 20 usage goal and I've used it the 20 times. So I will miss Hayley dearly, but I won't miss her because I watch every single video that she puts out. I just watched her hot takes on Project Planet and it was so much fun. I really enjoyed it. I loved that video. If for some reason you watch me and you don't watch Hayley, go check her out because she is just... I adore her. She's phenomenal. Then again, I adore all these people that I follow. So I'm going to be saying this. You're going to hear it. It's going to be a running theme. A running theme. Uh, next up, again, is the divine and wonderful and gorgeous Jen from Project Beauty. I love her. And she's a dear, dear friend. And I just... But all these people are. I consider all these people to be friends. So, I don't know. <laughs> uh, whether they consider me to be or not. But I think they do. I think they do. Um, but what I had in for Jen, because... Color and Jen are just like, like this. <sighs> the looks she does, the eye looks she does. I just love them. I just adore them. Um. So what I had in for Jen was the Wet and Wild Mega Last Stained Glass Lip Gloss, and this is it here. And this is such a peculiar. Why? Are these not available in America? I hear no one talking about these. It is what I have on my lips today. So a little bit, tiniest bit comes off on the kiss test. I mean the tiniest bit. I don't understand how it can be so vibrant and so glossy looking and yet be so um, kind of more or less stay there. That's it there. Beautiful, beautiful product. I have two of these. I have one in a lighter shade and this one. And I kind of had both of them in for Jen. I used the lighter one um, kind of prior to the winter months and then moved on to this one for kind of the winter time. So she's been, Jen has been with me since the, the first, since I started this project. Um, but yeah, 20 usage goal and I've met the usages on it. So that's rolling out as well. So again, if for some reason you are not following Jen, get your arses over there. Get, get on over there and um, say hello because she's just wonderful and she is so, oh my God, her dedication to Pan in this year is next level. It's like something switched in her head and she's like, you know what? We're doing this and I'm doing every project and I'm kicking ass with it. She's just doing phenomenal with it. Uh, next up is Courtney, another dear friend. Courtney is Barbie Law on, I think it's 06 Barbie Law. I'll make sure I have the right one below because poor Courtney has been plagued with Instagram. They have just been locking her account and I mean, all she does is project planning content. Like there is literally nothing that could be a reason for having your account closed i think she thought the first time she might have been hacked or that but like she had all the the two double verification you know you know what i'm on about to make sure that you know your account doesn't get hacked in that and still instagram closed her account so i just my heart breaks her because she loses all her content then every time this happens so she starts out again and i just oh I admire her so much for her dedication for coming back and coming back and i'm so happy that she does because i love her and i love the reason I have this in, this is in, this is the um, Elf in Dragon Fruit and it's a lip product, it's there next to Jen's one and um, oh, she can pan a lipstick. I mean, I'm just so impressed with how she goes through lipsticks and she loves a good vibrant lip as well and it looks so good in her, I love it. Um, so yeah, this is in for Je or for Courtney and I have 14 uses on it. So 20 is my total and that means I have six more uses for Courtney. I think this will probably be getting a bit more use now this month, now that Jen's one has rolled out because um, it's kind of that time of year where you use something a bit more hydrating and just a bit, you know, a lighter look day to day. And because theoretically we don't have to wear masks anywhere but I still wear them when I'm indoors and stuff like that but I'm just going for a walk or I'm just going for um you know going to the beach for the day or something like that I'll wear something like this just hydrating easy to pop on not too worried about it once it fades off and throw on a mask and then top it up again afterwards so um uh, yeah that'll probably get a bit more use but that is for Courtney uh, next up is Valerie. Uh, Valerie is VMRT over on Instagram. And again, another incredible woman, beautiful person inside and out. And um, she is the co-creator of Nightmare on Panning Street with uh, Jalon. If you don't watch their monthly videos for that update, 
it's just a riot it's an absolute riot it's i just crack up every time i watch it and um we're always on valerie's case going come on valerie do more videos but we haven't won her over just yet we get there we, we won't we won't stop um but definitely check out our instagram account i'll have it linked below um because again another phenomenal planner and a gorgeous person um and this i what i've in for her is the physician's formula mura mura butter glow face palette and uh she very kindly sent this over to me because we couldn't get it here and i was so so grateful and she has actually panned this to completion completion i'm just like i was blown away it's like Oh my actual God. I mean, fair enough a bronzer because you know, you use a lot more bronzer than the other two. And you know, you use maybe a big brush and you do more of your face. Whereas a brush and a highlighter are very concentrated on where you use it. Well done. But again, I had this in for 20 uses and I've used it 20 times and I absolutely love it. I think this will actually come on holidays with me because it'd be so handy just to have my bronzer, blush and highlighter all in the one palette. Um, highlighter is a tad icy for me. I have it on today. Um, not my favourite, I won't lie, but these two, divine. Absolutely love them. Um, but yeah, so that is rolling out as well. I'm telling you, I just like that. But I think all of those kind of ones had maybe three uses left in them. Um, so, you know, it is what it is. So next up is Anna from Maximalism Rehab. And Anna... Um, Anna is an Aussie and... Or Australian, sorry. She is um, just so dedicated to her project panning, to her no-buy, towards becoming cruelty-free, to being more eco-aware. She's just, I love her focus and her drive and I wish I could have some of that because sometimes I kind of fall off the wagon of that, but she just, when she decides what she's doing, she just goes for it and she's so articulate and, but yet so, or like she's very calm and that is very calm in watch when you watch Anna. Uh, I just love her. I think she's just another gorgeous, gorgeous person. Um, and for Anna, I had the Aussie, um, because it's a brand, an Aussie brand, and it's a place, it's Bondi Sands. Bronze Bondi, sorry. Um, the bronzer from Becca. Becca was an Australian brand. And this is it here. And I absolutely adore this and I'm going to, this is going to be one now that's going to get so much wear um, throughout the summer because it's a tad warmer and a tad darker and I, I need that, you know, just a little bit more warmth. I never did the um, Physicians Formula palette. My sincere apologies. Beautiful. It's up here if you can see it. I often find with this camera, and I do apologise because I notice it when I'm editing. So I'll bring my hand up here, right? And it'll take a second and then it'll focus and it'll look grand. But I'm noticing when I go to edit it that that focusing doesn't be, isn't as apparent. I don't know. So I need to slow down a little bit when I'm showing swatches and that just so that I can make sure that they are... It's very hard when I see it in there because I have a little flip up thing on the camera um and it shows that it's 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 and it's focused but i think it takes another second or two to actually translate i don't know i don't understand technology i'm an old person i don't know <laughs> but anyway i do apologize if that irritates anybody because it kind of irritates me when i'm uh um but anyway Anna was in so god almighty Ruth stay on track would you for one video could you not stay on track for one video apparently not and uh, this is in for Anna I had it in for 20 uses and I've used it the 20 times so again if for some reason you don't follow Anna get over give her a follow and a support and tell her that um just you know just be there just comment and subscribe and you know it means the world to us when when people subscribe and comment and because you just feel like oh thanks <laughs> well i do anyway and um, so that is Anna. Next up is Nikki from Nikki Pearson is her channel. And Nikki is a beauty kind of project planner and she is also a booktuber. 
So if you're interested in both of those things, they, they converge quite nicely over on Nikki's channel because she has a great TBR game. It's book Emma. I love that. And um, she does her updates every month of the books that she has read, uh, what she has thought of them, all of those kind of things. So if there's books that you're maybe interested in or kind of curious about, she gives a really good review of them. You know what I mean? You get to really kind of know, is it for me, is it not, etc. I love it. And also, she's a great project planner and I just adore her. And she is based in the UK and um, I have in for Nikki because she does she just rocks a vibrant dark lip I just love when she has a dark lip on it really suits her and just you know some people wear them you go oh, I don't know if that's for you that's me <laughs> um, that she just oh I love it I'm just always transfixed by him and um, so I have brought in this for Nikki it is the vibrant dark lip um, sorry the NYX Shine Loud Lacquer in In Charge. I get confused. And uh, it is quite a dark one. It's one that, you know, I bought it thinking, oh great, I won't have to worry about it. But I find that I do. I find it hard to work with, I won't lie, because it's a bit fussy if you, if you don't properly wait for it to dry if you try to put on a second coat if you didn't get the first coat on right, etc. It can get a bit... It just pills up a bit and kind of you can nearly scrape it off and that so I, I won't say I love these because I don't um but I'm enjoying being out of my comfort zone and wearing a little bit of a darker lip so I have this in for 20 uses and I've used it eight times so far so I have another 12 uses to go I need to get my lead out for that one because we're really getting out of the season now of a dark lip for me personally I know um, you can wear whatever you want, whenever you want, but I am very much a seasonal makeup wearer. I do enjoy, you know, spring colours and summer colours and winter colours, you know, I just do. Uh, next up is Gabriella Francis and Gabriella is uh, currently, well, I don't say, well, she is currently in Portugal, but I think she'll be living there for the foreseeable. I'm quite jealous of her. And, um... She, because she lives in Portugal, I picked a product that I bought in Sephora in Portugal. I get there eventually. Uh, again, I love Gabriella and um, I love her eye makeup looks. They're just beautiful. But she seems to be able to create them without having to use like 30 shadows. You know what I mean? She can create these beautiful, colourful looks only using maybe two or three shadows. And she's doing fantastic as well at the moment with her... It's not quite pan those eyeshadows, but it is, if you know what I mean. So she's only kind of picking out maybe two or three palettes at a time. And she kind of randomizes one shade and then she chooses one shade as well from the palette to focus on and to work on. And it seems like she's organically nearly hit and pan much easier this way. It really seems to be working for her. And she's had some beautiful, she had this beautiful palette. Was it from Nomad Cosmetics or someone else? But it's just the palette itself was just so bright and cheerful and the shade inside really reflected the outside. Otherwise some palettes they don't look the same inside and out but that one did. What was the name of that? I can't remember. Beautiful, beautiful palette. Anywho, this is what's in for her. It is the uh, Too Faced Peach Blur Translucent Smoothing Finishing Powder. We got there. Why? Why? I lost the will before we got to the end of the name. Like what? Could you not just say it's a it's finishing powder, lads? That's what it's called. It's finishing powder. There's no need for Too Faced Peach Blur Translucent Smoothing Finishing Powder. No! She's not a rent today, she? Oh my god, calm down, woman. Um, yeah, I bought this thinking it was blush. Very disappointed to find it wasn't. I live in Ireland, you can't return. So now I have to find a way to use it. I've been using it as a finishing powder. It's interesting. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know that it does anything at all, if I'm being honest. I have to say, I can understand why it's no longer available. I don't understand why they got rid of the whole to peach blur line or peach line, because I, I did enjoy some of the products from it. But yeah, I'm just using it as a finishing powder, but it's not like I use my uh, Wet n Wild um, Reserve Cabana, is it? Bronzer. That's a not uh, and I love that as a finishing powder I really feel that does something and I also use my hourglass ones they do a little bit maybe not that much um but yeah I just don't notice that this does a whole lot apart from maybe mesh my 
bronzer highlight blush kind of together when I kind of just dust all over with it. It's staying in. I've used it 11 times. I have 20 usage goal, so I have another nine uses to go. Look at me doing math. Just like off the top of my head. Junior infants math like. All right, Ruth, calm down. Uh, next up is the gorgeous Kana from Kana's Closet. I hope you're feeling better, you poor thing. She's been so sick, the crater. It's awful. I feel so sorry for her. Because she even, she's created the Zodiac um, Project Pan and she hasn't even got to do her her introduction or anything yet because she's just been so sick the poor thing so please go over to Kena and wish her all the best and hope that she gets well soon and um, but for Kena I won her giveaway which was the blend bunny cosmetics the dollhouse palette and to say I was excited is beyond what it actually was because I was just like oh my god I can't breathe because everyone and their mother is talking about blend bunny and just how amazing they are and I just haven't had a chance not that I haven't had a chance, I can't afford it at the moment. I can't afford to be paying the money for the palette, paying the money for delivery, paying the VAT when it gets into the country, etc. It's just not in my budget at the moment. But I had so much FOMO and I was mad to try it. And she, I won it and she said the toilet, I was so happy. And she sent me the brushes as well. Lads, the brushes are amazing. Especially for me with smaller eyes. They're all quite um, detailed kind of brushes. I want to show you for a second. They're just fab, I have to say. Like that one there is like a, a pencil brush, but a bit thicker nearly. And there is my I have to show you another tool, did I not? Oh, no doubt I'll find it afterwards, straight after. Oh yeah, that one. Another one here. It's kind of like a little bit more um a bit longer and a bit fluffier kind of and they're just for my small little eyeballs they're just brilliant i love them but um i have this in as a no pan left behind and um so far i have used one full row so i've used the greens in a look i had it up in my instagram um so if i remember i will link my instagram below but yeah i used this row here and it was just oh my god it was so good I'll give you a bit of a swatch. Oh my god, I'm sticking my finger into the thicken. All of them. I don't know why I'm saying specifically the, the, the glitters because they're all divine. Um I just want to give you the green row that I was just lads, they're so thicken, soft and comfortable and easy to blend and pigmented. Oh my god, look at that green! Look at it! Look at it! Oh, it's just yummy. Yummy is what it is. Look at that. Like, oh, I love it. I love it. Thank you so much, Kena. <laughs> I freaking love it. Can't wait to play with more of them, but I'm trying to have so many items. I'm just like, Ruth. And, and you'll see. Not like she stops because she just keeps going but fuck night I don't want to die because she's an idiot but oh man divine so yeah I've used the green row so far so we probably get another row next month done um but yeah man it's just beautiful and it's not it's not even though the shadows feel kind of soft to the touch it doesn't have a load of kick up or anything like that but it's beautiful beautiful so that is in for Kina. Ah, oh, lads. Weeping. Just with the excitement of it all. And next up then is Carolyn. Carolyn Nicole 89 over on Instagram. Carolyn, another lovely person. Just a gorgeous. Oh, I love her looks that she does. They're so beautiful. Um, but just a lovely person and she's a great um supporter of the project planning community and a great project planner herself and um i just love her i think she's gorgeous and um i brought in for her because she did at the start of the year she did a kind of a least a little least she did a least she did a list of her favorite palettes that she i don't know was it that she purchased last year or got used last year and uh this was my the Jackie Ina palette was one that um, we both had that was high up her thing but I've already had that in a project and or it was in a project when I wrote Caroline in should I say 
So I brought in this one instead. This is the Natasha Denona Love Palette and this was quite up, high up in her ratings as well. And this is, if she knew what it looks like on the inside, it's very pretty. It's what I have on my eyeballs. Look at the stage of this like. This isn't the eyeshadow's fault. This is because this eye will not stop streaming. And every time I put my eyeshadow brush into the shadow and onto my face, I'd have to wipe it off because it got so feckin' wet. And like, look at these two shadows. I don't know if you, but look at that. That's because my brush was wet going back in. Which is very annoying and I think, I don't know, can you see it properly? You probably can't. And even though I tried to dry them off in between. That's not what you're here for. You're here to look at this beautiful palette and know how I got on with it. So, I have used First Soul Giving Passion Intense, no, Intense. Oh, sugar, no. Soul, passion, intense. <laughs> uh, Valentine, trust, trans, transparent, um, <laughs> commit. Uh, Valentine, I said that already. Yeah, I think that's it. So the only ones I've left are heart, uh, lifetime. Um, these two, she's Ruth, come on girl, and these two, yeah, that's it, is that right, yeah, um, beautiful, really, really beautiful, this eye obviously looks better, because, you know, I don't know why, this eye is always worse, always, always, always worse, um, is this the side I've had Bell's palsy on more than the other, it is actually, I've had Bell's on this side three times, I've only had it once on this side, so I think that's a part of it as well, it's caused more of a weakness in that eye, um, but yeah, very pretty, very lovely palette, do I think it's worth the price tag? No, I got it half off, which I was thrilled with, um, I could not bring myself to pay the full whack for Natasha Denona shadows, I just can't, I don't think for me personally, from what I have used, that they are worth it. That's just my opinion. I know that is a controversial one because everyone and their mother adores her, but I just don't think it's worth the price tag. But then again, there's very few items that are high ticket items that I think are worth the price tag. So take that for however you will. Okay, come on Ruth, drive on. So to the Romans. So the first person I am bringing in is an Instagrammer. And again, she's another person that has been a subscriber for quite a long time now, uh, is another great project panner over on Instagram. And um, she just, she's just such a sweetheart. I think, I think she's trying to do a pan your way to 5k as well. I'm really certain she is. Uh, it's Lucy Gonzalez, AKA Lucy and stuff over on Instagram. And please go and follow her because she's absolutely lovely. I just, I think she's such a sweetheart. And for Lucy, I am bringing in an item because she is doing the Drop 10 Before Summer project this year. I did it last year. I'm not doing it this year. I, I had to put my foot down somewhere and say, no, I cannot do it. Uh, so that was one of the ones that got kicked to the curb. <laughs> but so what I picked in for her is the Elf um, Electric Mood. Um... De La Soul Cream Face Quad. Uh, Gabriella Francis actually has this in her Partners in Cream, I think, and she's doing quite well with it. Um, this is it here. I have hit pan on the highlighter, and I think if I remember, Gabriella actually hit that pan first as well. Um, but we have a bronzer, two blushes, and a highlighter, and I'm bringing this in for 22 uses. Uh, so hopefully I will hit pan, maybe, on something. That would be great if I got another pen. Um, ooh, well now, interesting. The highlighter is starting to dry up on me. Hmm. Well, you know, that's why you need to get cracking on your um, cream products. There it is. Oh, well, oh, still, look at that swatching. Aren't I something else? I never remember to put them on this side. Um, but yeah, that's the highlighter you can't really see and the two blushes, beautiful pigmentation and the bronzer. I personally think I prefer this formula to the putty um, blush that I have. I'm sure that's controversial, but there you go. So this is coming in for the gorgeous Lucy and I have 22 uses on it. 
Uh, next off, oh my God. If ever there was a person who at the moment I want to get on a boat because I don't fly and get to Finland and give her the biggest feckin' hug ever, it is Taru from Cruelty Free Panner. I just feel for it because first of all, she's neighbours with those absolute assholes. That's not fair. Not all Russians are assholes. That's a horrible thing to say. There's some absolutely wonderful, lovely people there. But the Putins of Russia. And I can't imagine, I cannot imagine what it must feel like to live on one of their borders. I mean, you see, you know, places like that, like Finland, like Estonia, you know what I mean? You just think, good God, this madman could decide to turn his Sauron's eye towards me next. You know what I mean? Because I just can't imagine. And I feel Taro is a bit like me in that she feels things very deeply and even though they mightn't be affecting her directly at that time. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like somebody's in her house pointing a gun at her. But you feel so, so much empathy and so much sympathy, but so much anger and so much, you know what I mean? All the feelings. And as well, I mean, she is such a lover of the earth and the trees and the plants and the animals and you know what I mean she's really because of her career as well and what she what she does um she's seen more and more and seen you know understanding more and more our planet is dying guys it's dying if we don't do something you know like I was reading only yesterday that both the ice cap both the north and south pole we're both experiencing heat waves at the same time. That is horrific to me. That is just horrific. I'm sorry, I get a bit, <laughs> a bit deep in that, but I just, I can tell Taro it's all getting to her and she's struggling. So please go over to her and give her all your good vibes and, you know, re- in, it's not reinstall, I don't know what the word is looking for, her faith in humanity so that she knows that there is great people out there because there is, there are wonderful people out there and if we all just do a little bit and we all just kind of try to, to be kind to each other, be kind to each other, you don't understand how something, the simplest kind comment that you could give to someone and how it will change their day. And the same goes for something mean, saying something mean and nasty to someone. It can, it, it, somebody could already be on the brink and that could be the thing that tips them over. You know what I mean? So just be cognizant of what you're saying to people. You know what I mean? And it doesn't hurt to say something nice. It, it's actually, it, it makes you feel, it, it, it feels good for you too. Wow. Okay, Ruth. Let's get back to makeup, shall we? because I'm just off. Anyway, I adore Taru and I just, yeah, I love her. Um, and she's the coolest person on the world. I mean, geez, I just want to be her. I'm like, if I did my hair like that, I'd look like a feckin' Egypt, but she just oozes cool, just effortlessly. She just is, she's just one of these people that just is cool. Um, and what I brought in for Taru is um, I wanted to make sure it was cruelty free, but also the parent, had no parent company that wasn't cruelty free because she's very, you know, she really is very cognizant of that as well, that she's not supporting parent companies. And it's something I want to try. And once I get everything in my collection cruelty free, that I can try and work on that then next, if you know what I mean, that the parent company, making sure the parent company isn't... Um, selling in China and stuff like that. Anyway, I brought in the Revolution uh, Bronzer Reloaded in Holiday Romance and Tara does have a lot of uh, bronzers, or no, Makeup Revolution products. Uh, a lot of her eyeshadows and her products and that are Makeup Revolution eyeshadows. Because it's affordable and it's, you know, completely cruelty free. There's no ambiguity there, to the best of our knowledge. Jeez, you, you never know what companies, let's be honest, you could turn out. Oh yeah, another stellar swatch, good girl. Good girl look at it yeah i'll just dislocate my shoulder there we go now perfect pop it back in off we go guys this is going to be a long video i do apologize i hope you don't mind if you're still here put a bunny in the comments put not a bunny in the comments there 
I know that somebody actually <laughs> stayed this long. Uh, next up is... Uh, who have I got next? I am Misty! Uh, I have Misty in next and uh, Misty's birthday month is April. And as such, she loves purple. So she has decided to do 30 days of purple for her birthday. And I love that. I think that's so cool. I personally couldn't do it. <laughs> Much and all as I love purple, I'm all purpled out because I just seem to keep getting purples in projects. And 50 shades of purple. Jesus, that nearly killed me. Anyhow, now we're here for a route. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, I have brought in for Misty a purple eyeshadow because I am doing, I have got purples in other projects. So I said, like, come on, Ruth, you can do it. It was that or bringing something for Colour Pan. Um, but I'm already doing Colour Pan as a project. Uh, or I could have done, I suppose, uh, Get Baked, which is her new project coming up. She's had a good few projects this year, really fun ones. And that's expensive as well. She does that expensive, another great project. Um, but anywho, what I have brought in for her is this shade here, which unfortunately is called Libra. <laughs> Doesn't really work with what we were going for there, but it is a purple. And I do have this shade in my Pandos eyeshadows at the moment. So um, could we do a proper swatch? Is that possible? Oh my God. So pretty. There's like a pinky purple. Um, there, so I'm bringing that in for the darling Misty and it is in for 30 uses to go with her 30 days of purple so if again for some reason you're not following Misty make sure to get over there um before April as well so you can wish her a happy birthday and get to see all her purple looks that she's going to be doing um but yeah and she's a hoot she's just oh my god she cracks me up and her eye looks another one that just does these spectacular spectacular eye looks they're just so intricate and so colorful and so vibrant love them so yeah another eyeshadow and it's not the last one here's the last one coming in uh this is coming in for mari from patriot makeup oh my god so supportive so beautiful inside and out oh, her hair her makeup everything her animals <sighs> I love her animals. She has a rooster that she brings into video sometimes. <laughs> Who takes a hand off her when, he, when she tries to get her to pick a product for her. That cracks me up. Um, but she's just gorgeous. And like I said, and when I say gorgeous, I'm talking about inside and out here. You know what I mean? She's just so lovely and supportive and kind. And again, another one who's feeling, you know, all the things at the moment as well. You know, I can tell by her what's happening in Ukraine. It's hurting her. You know, you can see it. Um, but yeah, please, please, please go check out Mary. She is gorgeous. And uh, what I decided to do was bring in, because I'm doing her musical panning project pan, which I love. I love it. Um, but I decided to pay homage to another one of her projects, which is Show Your Sparkle, which I just love that as well. It's basically just using your glitter. Use your glitter, your sparkly, beautiful, glittery goodness. So this is my Zodiac palette. So from here to here is my Zodiac palette for the Zodiac Project Pan. But I've popped in these three glitters here. Those three are from the Tati palette, uh, along with these two, but these we're not looking at these at the moment. These are the three that I'm concentrating on for Mary. So I have the three of those and I want to use each of them five times. So we have like a, I'll give you a little swatch. It's hard to swatch glitter, but the tatty ones are beautiful. Just the, just the whatever binder she put in them. There they are there, those three shades there. Let me see if we can do a bit of a, oh, look at that. Like, isn't that just beautiful? Oh, glittery glittery goodness I love it it's going to be everywhere but I don't care because they're so fucking pretty Look. so disappointed that her come that her eyeshadow company is gone because these glitters I, I just haven't experienced anything else like them they're just beautiful um but yeah so all three of those I want to use each of them five times for Mary and that is it oh my god I'm tired Hungry, thirsty, emotional. <laughs> That's just tell me what. Um, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And look, if you stay to the end, 
and for some reason you're not subscribed yet so you might as well subscribe now if you if you stayed this long i don't see why you would unless you had to see where this train wreck went maybe you're one of those people who can't look away from a train wreck maybe uh, but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you go and support all these wonderful people who do wonderful project panning and are just beautiful, gorgeous people inside and out and super, super supportive and kind. And that's so important to me. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this and I will hopefully chat to you in the next one. Take care. Bye. Sloan. Bye to the glitter. Yay.